hey lost welcome back to my channel and you're welcome back to another video thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos if you're returning and if this is the first time here thank you for clicking i do hope you do not make this your last i'm sure you love it here trust me so please you, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel and joining this growing like emphasis on growing this growing community so today's video is going to be a very quick one um this video isn't the video you're supposed to be seeing this week but i chose to uh, make this video because i have seen like um similar questions on my video i made a video on how to go about your biometrics and your medical appointment i will leave a link to it here so you can go and see for yourself if um this is your first time here and you don't know what i'm talking about and trust me you would find one or two things um useful in the video i noticed that you guys have so many questions about medical and biometrics the question that i got like um if i got 10 questions this particular question i got it like six times and it's how to book a medical appointment so that's why you're seeing this video this week and you'll probably be getting the actual video maybe like in a few days time because i am not like done editing this out to press a pause on it and do this one so this video is all about how to book your medical appointment like if you over, if you watch my previous videos you would always hear me say um i always make reference to iom because that was where i gave my medical i'll be using iom as a case um, study or as an example so um just um you might want to stick around for this one just stick around and watch this video to the end and you surely get one thing or two out of it so Right now, let's just like go over to um, my laptop so that you guys can see the steps and everything you need to see or know about how to book your medical appointment. I'll see you guys in the next clip. First thing you want to do is to go to the IEM website. I'm going to be using Google instead of just typing in the website address so that you guys can see that you can actually just um, Google stuff that you need. So I'm just going to click on um, medical appointment click on my medical this is what we have so um now we're going to select uh country of departure so this just means you should select the country you're going to be doing your medicals in the country you're going to be traveling to your destination country from so in this case let's use nigeria destination country the country you're traveling to so let's use canada now travel type temporary migration migrant type um student family members one so if you're going in numbers like if you're going with your husband or your kids just like pick what applies to you so in this case one and then we start so now it brings us to this next page now if you see here we have select country um it is checked because we feel that that's the previous page we just left now the second one is just for us to pick the center so the more you are completing each page each page it um, checks it for you to see here so we just have four more pages to go two three four and five so let's pick um the lagos center so this is just a disclaimer um the phone number is used fraudulently okay so yeah you can just like take your time and maybe pause the screen and read this um disclaimer here so let's just continue so we've picked the center so you can see um, a brief of your information here, Nigeria to Canada, student type, temporary migration. Um, the center is in Lagos. This is their um, phone numbers, the address, and the email. So let's go down to terms and conditions. So, um, so this is the terms and conditions. So we have to click here and then I agree. So 
agree and then continue so it brings us to the third page you can see it's checked now this is the third page pick your appointment time so now the the next um the available dates as of today today's date is 26th of may so the available date today is on 20th of june if this is not okay for you you can come here and pick the next date is 26th of june and then we have 27th of june so let's just work with um so you can see that there is no more date there's no date like 21st of june no date at all 20th of june yeah so let's just pick 8 a.m because it's just for trial right so we click on continue and then okay so it has checked so this is the fourth page in this page we just pick um filling your name date of birth your sex your nationality nigeria your uci number uh, uci number just means your client identification number you'd have this number once you submit your um, application to ircc that's why it says optional here because if you haven't like started your application you just want to book your medical appointment up front you probably won't have you won't have your you see i don't even probably you won't have so that's why it's optional same thing here for the ime number all that information is a passport number we are going to stop here because um there is no passport number that i can you know use and it's kind of like required so here you just enter your passport number your passport issue date that's the day they issued your passport to you your passport expiry date your nigerian phone number your secondary contact number if you have and your email address so after that the next thing to do is to set your password and then you click on continue so i don't think we can continue now because we haven't like filled in this whole thing and they are all like important as you can see so once you do all these things it's going to take you to your email verification what happens in number five here is once you enter your email address here you create a password for this ium it's um it, a link is sent to you to your email address for you to click on and verify so once you verify this email address like prove that this email address belongs to you and that you actually have access to the email you verify your account then they would now send you your details like everything you just entered here this whole thing here this from here like this down they will send everything to you because it stops at family members because we didn't fill all these parts but once you fill all these parts everything is going to come out here and it's going to be in your email address so once it's in your email address they will also um attach a um their banking payment instructions in the pdf file so they will be the ones to give you the bank account number that you pay your medical fees in also in the pdf file the amount you're supposed to pay will also be in the file so you just like view the file see your amount and you make your payment when you make your payment you print out the form you print out the um pdf um, file that they sent to you and you also print out your payment receipt and then you take it with you for your appointment on the scheduled day thanks for watching guys bye thank you guys for watching i do hope you found the video informative and i hope that you got a thing or two and i also hope that video is kind of like enlightening and after watching the video you probably know how to book your medical appointment so but if you have any more questions probably you don't understand a thing or two that i said in the video you can just also feel free to leave it in the comments and i will be sure to give you um, a fitting reply so um that's it for today's video guys and i'll see you guys in the next video you guys should expect a video like maybe in three or four days time i don't know you guys it's been so hectic for me like i have a lot of things going on but youtube is top of my priority so you guys should expect more videos coming up on the channel so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye